Hello, everybody, to Society Friendly Neighborhood INFP, and Harry Potter is overrated. The Harry Potter houses are overrated. The whole system is overrated. Sure, super popular, whatever. I, however, have, I, however, have decided to create my own houses based on the four elemental creatures centered around the alchemical section of things basically in a area of alchemy there are these four known elemental creatures that are kind of like based around other mythology and all of that regardless the four houses would be salamander undine um sylph and gnome gnome so salamander is fire undine is water sylph is air and gnome is the earth so, within those four elemental houses that are dictated between uh, each type, for the first one, we are going to look at Sylph. Now, Sylph is a kind of more of a um, inventive house, a more go-with-the-flow type of house. They are always on a constant move they constantly want to try new things and are constantly innovating or trying new things and all of that hence why the people i'm going to be putting into the sylph house are enfp entp estp and esfp those are the four people going into that specific house and uh, based on the nature now if you want to hear more of the houses and how the whole system works let me know down below but i'm just going where i would place each of the characters and since there's 16 types and four houses i'm putting four people into each of the four houses to make it uh i guess fair across the board shall we say. So, self is done. Next up, we have Undine. Undine is, uh, like self, is more of a creative type house, but they're more based around um, emotions, individuality, following the heart, uh, sometimes helping and healing others. Uh, they're a more sometimes caretaking, like if there was a caretaking aspect of uh, the houses, it would be Undine, but they are also kind of very unpredictable, much like water. And they have both a strong sense of individualism, but also a strong sense of wanting to help others. In this sense, I'm going to put the INFP, the ISFP, the ENFJ, and the INFJ. Uh, those guys are going to be in that house specifically because that's kind of where I would see them now. Part of me thinks that each character could be interchangeable with the houses and all of that. But for the sake of this video, that's where they're going to be. Now, coming on to the Salamander, they are the more passionate, get things done... Uh, go forward into life a little bit more fiery a little bit more uh, hot tempered some of them but not always it's more about passion it's more about doing it's more about achieving uh, they're the ones that essentially help the others move along in a certain path and are kind of seen as the leaders of the entire thing so ergo in that place i'm going to be putting the entj the estj the intj and even the is no entj estj intj and esfj uh will be going into that house then of course the last house is the gnome or earth and in here we're going to be putting in the there these guys are like a little bit more chill a little bit more relaxed a little bit more um kind of like it takes them like a long time to get moving sometimes it takes or they're very diligent with what they do or they're very good craftsmen in their area they don't always come out into the open they can be very down to earth 
Uh, they have their own way of creating things and innovating and like seeing the efficiency of what needs to be done and all of that. So in this house, naturally, I'm going to be putting the ISTP, the INTP, the ISTJ, and the ISFJ. So all of those guys are going to be going into that house uh, simply due to that nature of like a slow, um, relaxed, get things done or find a more efficient way to do things. Now, of course, these houses are interchangeable depending on where you're focusing, where your skill sets are. I'm working on like a kind of massive overview of how the houses work. So if you want to see that, let me know down in the description below. But yeah, I just wanted to kind of put a neat little new video that maybe people might find interesting or maybe they won't. This is just like a headcanon thing that like if I were to put this into the comic, um, that's essentially what I do. I'd put each of the characters into those respective houses uh, and for good reason. And uh, I'd probably expand on that like a little bit more as it goes down the line. But if you want like a bit more information or knowing how the houses work or how they're interchangeable or how like what the whole setting around that is, do let me know. But other than that, I will see you guys next time. Bye bye.